Hello friends, today we are going to see about a gambit called Lucini Gambit. It arises in the Italian game and uh, if you are fond of complications then you might be interested in this gambit. So you can try this opening out. It starts with e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6, bishop c4, bishop c5, d3 and uh, the Lucini Gambit move f5. The drawback of this uh, opening and uh, why most people don't play this opening is because um, if white knows about this uh, gambit then uh, he can simply avoid it by playing moves like castling or knight c3 and that's the drawback of this opening and uh, that's why it's not so popular um, let me show you a sample line to those moves for example uh, knight c3 knight f6 castle d6 bishop g5 knight a5 and uh, the bishop is attacked and the best move goes with uh, capturing on the knight and then knight d5 queen d8 protecting the c7 and uh, b4 and after captures captures bishop b6 and then uh, capturing on the f5 pawn and now black can castle and uh, we can anytime capture on this pawn and uh, this knight can be kicked uh, away with uh, c6 sometime and uh, it's slightly advantageous for white and but it's not so worse for black uh, it's playable position for black and uh, you can play this uh, opening like this also so let's look into the main gambit idea of this opening the main idea which uh, which is uh, you have weakened this uh, long diagonal and also if white uh, uh, looks carefully he can play this move knight g5 it will be threatening a fork on the f7 square and uh, that's not easy to stop so that's the main idea and that's what we want so knight g5 threatening a fork and uh, we are not going to protect it because uh, it's not easy to protect even if you play knight h6 then uh, queen h5 comes uh, it's a it's a powerful uh, position for white even winning position for white so we are not going to do that but uh, what we are going to do is to play this amazing move which is f4 wow and uh, and uh, he white must be thinking that uh, we are a fool to play like that and uh, he will enter into unknown lands by playing this move knight f7 and that will be a fork to our two major pieces but uh, what we are going to do is to play queen h4 and uh, this threatens a checkmate and there are uh, three moves to save the checkmate one is to play queen e2 the other one is to play g3 counter attacking our queen and the other one is to play castle we will look the queen e2 and the g3 move in this video and uh, castling in the next next video so let's start with uh, let's start with queen e2 and now what we are going to do is to play d5 this move occurs uh, commonly in this opening which is uh, it attacks the bishop and opens up this bishop so it's a very common uh, move it occurs in this opening often and uh, if he captures the pawn with the bishop then uh, this bishop will come to g4 and mainly here um, white can try three main open three main moves which is uh, queen f1 if he goes queen f1 then after knight d4 we will be threatening a fork let, let me show it to you queen f1 knight d5 threatening a fork and uh, the knight cannot uh, come to a3 and defend it because we will capture it so king has to come to d2 and then uh, bishop e2 the queen can go here somewhere and after knight e7 threatening to capture this bishop and then capture this knight so white will capture the rook and after we capture capture i think uh, we can set up a mating net here by playing the move f3 and uh, if we place this uh, idiot move which is g3 then uh, bishop b4 check will be a checkmate i mean will be a checkmate with uh, queen g5 so 
that kind of uh, mating nets can arise in this opening so if you if after a uh, bishop g4 if you place uh, queen d2 then uh, the queen will get trapped can you guess how it's bishop e3 the queen is spinning the f pawn so it cannot capture and the bishop the queen cannot move because uh, that will be a checkmate so bishop e3 and if we counter attacks our uh, queen then we can just play queen h5 and uh, the same i think same idea the queen will uh, huh, the knight will come to fork and uh, if he plays something like this then uh, after bishop check we will uh, another queen so bishop g4 is powerful and even if he captures the pawn then the uh, same continuation with uh, all those uh, moves oops and uh, now let's see the g3 and now if we place g3 what we are going to do is to play queen h3 and white played g3 in the intention to counter attack our counter attack our queen and then capture this rook and uh, very good for white that uh, he has captured the, the rook but uh, from now on we are going to be in the driving seat so here again we are going to play the most common move in this opening which is d5 and it attacks the bishop so if bishop captures then uh, after bishop g4 and queen d2 then knight d4 it uh, comes again and again and if a pawn captures which is the best move here we can play knight d4 again threatening the move bishop g4 so white has to play an accurate move here which is c3 uh, giving space for the queen to move and uh, after bishop g4 queen a4 if you want a draw then uh, you can simply gain a draw by playing bishop d7 and uh, repeating the moves so but if you are playing for a win then uh, you can play the smoke king f8 and uh, white has to be so accurate in this uh, opening so so that he didn't get uh, checkmated or uh, or uh, be a very bad position so the best move for white here is to capture this knight and now black has to play some accurate moves too because uh, he is down two pieces now because uh, he has sacrificed a rook he has sacrificed a knight and now he is going to sacrifice a bishop also <laughs> by playing the most powerful move here which is f cross g3 f cross g3 is um, a very very good move and uh, it sacrifices a piece but let's say he doesn't capture the piece and captures this pawn then what we can do is to play queen g2 rook f1 check and after knight f6 and uh, for the instance we are check uh, threatening checkmate so he can play this move which is uh, rook g2 and after uh, we can just uh, again we are threatening checkmate so uh, rook f2 and again uh, rook queen can capture the pawn and then uh, after rook f2 now we can capture this pawn with the uh, bishop attacking the rook so the only way to defend the rook is to play queen c2 and now what we can do is to play king g8 and uh, our plan is just simple we are we are going to capture this knight and then play rook f8 and then open up this uh, knight and then uh, attack the rook so it's a winning position for black so the the game can continue like that if uh, white doesn't capture our piece and uh, if he captures our piece then uh, we are going to enter into a very 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 interesting line which is uh, f cross sorry g cross f2 check he cannot capture the pawn because after uh, queen f3 check that will be a checkmate and if he goes here then bishop has three will seal the win so he has to play king d2 
and now we are going to play queen g2 queen g2 threatens to promote this pawn with a check so again the king has to move and now we go, we are going to capture the rook and now it again threatens to promote the pawn again and again so white has to play the move knight d2 to prevent promotion but we are going to play queen e1 again threatening to promote so this variation is uh, all forced and uh, white has to play accurately for uh, so long and uh, this is move number 16 i think so yeah and again he has to play this move which is uh, d4 to control the f1 square preventing the promotion of queen and uh, we can play queen e3 check so the king cannot move if he moves here then bishop here, bishop uh, f5 check is strong and if he moves here then uh, a5 check is very strong yeah a5 check and uh, after queen captures the bishop is coming here and that will be a checkmate soon so he has to cap he has to play bishop d3 here and then we can play e4 white can capture this pawn and counter attack uh, the queen but uh, we are not afraid of that we can sacrifice the queen wow and uh, after he captures then we can promote the queen <laughs> yeah so what wherever he goes uh, i think um, we can fork the knight and take the knight so in here you can see that uh, white is just a pawn up after this so many moves and white's knight is trapped on the h8 square also so it's a very good pleasant position for black and uh, the king is on c4 so it's vulnerable to attack also and that's what i wanted to say about uh, luchini gambit about the two moves which is queen e2 and g3 and uh, we will cover the castling move in the next video so don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and uh, press on the bell icon so that you get notified for the next video. Thank you.